Hi, my name is Aliyah Velez. I'm from Biotech Zoology, and I'm a sophomore here talking with... Hello, I'm Luca. I'm from Aerospace Engineering. I'm a freshman, and I'm from Trumbull, Connecticut. So, Luca, um, how is um, Fairchild Wheeler different from your mo middle school? Um, I would say it's very different from my, you know, local high school. It's a lot harder. It's a lot faster paced. And the academics of it is just better than what I would get at Trimble High. Um, so how was the transition of going to middle school to high school? The transition was very smooth. I had... No problems at all. Everything was very easy going, and mm -hmm. it was yeah, it was easy. Okay. Um, did was it the school that made it easier for you, uh, or it just came naturally coming to high school? Uh, I think it was more of the school making the transition a lot easier. Uh, the staff is great, and you know everyone's nice, and just yeah, it was easy. Um, how is the speed of having four classes a day and learning a whole year of learning of education in one semester? Um, it's, it's, it's fast, a lot faster than what I would normally expect. Four periods is a lot different than like eight or seven periods a day. It's a lot faster to me and... It's faster than I would expect, yeah. Um, do you find it easier or harder having only four classes? Or, you know, is it easier for you? It's a lot easier for me having four classes because I have less homework mm -hmm. and less to worry about than going in eight classes or seven classes a day. Okay, so um, how is this history class different from other history classes you have um, taken in the past, you know, years in middle school or, or elementary? Um, this history class provides a lot of hands-on activities, and we go through and go over each and every subject clearly, and we go through the subjects very fast, mm -hmm. yet we can go them go through them fast with understanding, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Um, so could you explain what sh you have here, your model? All right. So this is my model road of a Roman road. And this is supposed to be mountains on the side. I know the road is a little bigger than this. But um, here we have, like, our four layers on the inside. Like, we have our sand, our gravel, our soil, and our crushed rock. And pretty much what this road is it's supposed to be like a transport road because we were supposed to have flat rocks on top like for local stones and that they used when they were building it and drainage ditches on the side which is what the rocks are supposed to resent, represent here so this took I'll, I mean this took me about like four days to make because the drying and then the placing and then making all like the plaster stuff and but, um, so what the Romans did was they would dig their hole, their trench, fill it up with the materials that you would see here, which is sand, sand and gravel, gravel and cement, and uh, soil, and then you have crushed rock and then stone on the top mm -hmm. for flat surface, and then they would have like soil or something in the middle filling the cracks, and then drainage ditches on the side, so when it rains, all the water will go down into those ditches and keep the road dry. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me ask you these questions, and I hope you enjoy your rest of your history class, and thank you.